My name is Teddy Puramini. I come from Uramiyama, Tiwi Island. I grew up with the nuns because my mum passed away. My dad came over to Darwin to work and he left me with his uh, relatives. My aunties were able to look after me and they gave me, you know, knowledge. Just by looking, by hearing and understanding. The school was hard because they used to have the work. <laughs> yeah. But we learned from that. I went to St. John's College in Darwin for two years. And then I went down to Victoria, Hamilton, as a country town. Boarding school there, Monterey College. The education that I received have helped me a lot during my journey, teaching me to go the right way. The good Lord, he put all this together. People have their own culture, and that's the way he's done it. You go out hunting, you bring back the food for everyone. We see the skeleton, we draw the pattern. Maybe similar to other tribes, but our own is special to only us. One. To be Tiwi, your Tiwi, thank you, Ngarimani, for giving us that gift. I'm a proud Tiwi myself. Tiwi, one people, the Arnhem Land people, one people. Put kids people, one people. If all Australia come together and say, okay, this is Australia, this is our home, we're all Australians, we'll be one. Yeah. Father Giselle, when he came over, he brought that faith with him. The old people left their homeland to come together in this one place. And that's how the mission started. That faith was strong. They lived together in their own family tribal group. It was good, no problem, because the family are there to help you. My tribe, Wantaramui tribe, the Miyarivi tribe, the Pandanas, they live one place. Takaramui and the Lotla mob, they live one place. No problem. Everyone got on well. Whereas today, people are living all over the place. So it's confusing. We have four tribes. We have the Sun group, that's my group. We have the Pandanus group, the Stone group, and we have the Mullet. The law says you have to go around or you have to go back. But you never cross. That's when trouble begins. You should know your law, you should know your tribe, your skin group. We're all family, we're all related. Respect each other. And you respect the elders within your tribe and all the other three. You have to respect everyone, all the elders. I was still young at that time. Nearly, nearly forget everything, you know? Because that drinking got me down. But luckily I had one man, my uncle. He come to me and he said, hey, too much, the drink is putting you down. Leave it, come with me, so you'll understand what that drink is doing to you. That's when I first got in touch with AA program make all those things part of my life. No alcohol, no drugs, no smoke. Just be free and happy. Here at Nugulunya, teaching was excellent, yeah. Giving me that insight of being that person. Relate their knowledge to 
what I know from home, my cultural learning there, there is a balance there. Maybe all of it came to me and I suddenly clicked. Yes, that's what I want. That's where I want to go. I'm just happy to be here, to have been passed through all these courses. I'm doing my third four and I want to bring my mob here. I want to bring them here so we can stop all this negativity that's happening there. Encouraging more people to come here to Nungulinya College will help you make you grow strong in faith. Yes. My aim now is to go back to my community and uh, help everyone. Not only the kids, but the adults as well for them to understand TV way. You know, the hunting experience, the camping experience, the direction of the country, how my people live long ago. And that's what's happening now, back home, with my small business out at Tan Tipi. My grandfather is buried there, and also my own father is buried there too. At the bush camp, I get to stay there for a couple of days with my wife, my family and my extended family. We're in this together. Further down, they want to start something like me, with their own country. Senior kids from senior college, they come over to learn about this tree here, whether it's got fruit or not, what time of the year will be ready, how do you prepare it, how do you cook it? About culture, about food, about land, about weather, about time, and about who made the world. The important thing for me is to understand Jesus. I want to be with him. He's always calling me just for me to follow that road. I don't want that, I don't want that, I want to go there. So I come here to ask him, Lord Jesus, help me to grow. Keep on going, never give up. Push myself to him because I know he's here. This place here is the right place for us, Aboriginal people, to come here and learn how we can change the world to be a better place, the community, to be a better community. This is the starting point. This place will help you so you have a better life for yourself. Bye to our mana.